Hi, I'm Sharon. Welcome back to Elfcraft and Vinyl. Today I'm going to show how you how I applied this monogram to a two from Sainsbury's ladies hooded um, jumper. So it was £16 and it's 82% polyester, so it's fine to take the heat. And uh, it's got quite a soft um, lamb's woolly feel to it, but obviously it's not. I'm using the uh, Stretch Metallic in Rose Gold. You'll need your picking tool, your scissors, um, and also your Teflon sheet. And I'm using my Cricut Easy Press. So I'm cutting it out to avoid as much wasted as possible. And this is a joy to weed. So it's really soft. It's really good for those little fiddly uh, projects that you want to do. It copes very well with text. Um, and when you get it on the garment, it's very soft. It's, it's almost like it's painted on there. It's, it's lovely, lovely to work with. So um, we've got quite a few colours on the website, www.elfcraftandvinyl.com, in the um, stretch metallics, and they're all, all equally gorgeous. So um, I'm weeding it out. The jumper was lovely on its own, but I just wanted to put a little bit more pers of a more personal touch to it, and. Um, this is the KK font from Defont, defont.com and it's a three letter monogram and it, the convention is to put your middle name as the middle letter so that's why the L and then the S for my first name and the B for my middle name and it, placing it you come down from the middle of the chest so I'm finding the middle of the chest and go across to the armpit now if you measure across there that gives you an imaginary square and then you place it just off um, just off the center of that i find that works as a really good placement but if you're stuck there's lots of alignment guides on google just type in t-shirt alignment guides and you, you'll find them on there so as i I put my Teflon sheet over it more to protect the jumper than to protect the vinyl because it's got the carrier sheet on and I pressed for 320 for 20 seconds and this is a cool peel. Unfortunately I've cut out the piece where I take the carrier sheet off but uh, you've seen me do that before so that's not a problem and I'm just checking it's all down then I take the carrier sheet on I turn it over onto the reverse and give it a second press. It doesn't take long and then we're all done. I've got a few videos going up today, um, so watch out for what to do with the bag for life and um, the Christmas shed. And there you go, you can see it's really adhered well. That is not going anywhere and I'm so chuffed with it. Um, you'll notice that I lost my blue hoodie halfway through shooting, ready to pop it on. Listen, thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and please come over and join us on the Bag for Life tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell.